Now to the pandemic. A new study shows that the Delta variant doubles the risk of hospitalization compared to the original virus. Now health officials are doubling down on their push to get people vaccinated. Polo Sandoval has the latest. With the U.S. still falling well short of the 70% vaccination rate experts say is needed to achieve herd immunity, troubling new information about the Delta variant. A study out of the U.K. finds that the now dominant Delta strain is not only more contagious, but also more dangerous, doubling the risk of hospitalization compared to the once common Alpha variant. That's bad news for many Americans, only 52% of whom are fully vaccinated against COVID, and the White House is urging people to get the shot. If you're an American who is not yet vaccinated, or if you're an employer who has yet to adopt vaccination requirements, we have a very simple message. Get off the sidelines, step up and do your part. But as the government pushes Americans to do more to stay safe, the debate over masks rages on. The New York State Department of Health will now require students, faculty and staff at all public and private schools in the state to wear masks while inside school buildings. And judges in Texas and Florida are pushing back against bans on mask mandates that were implemented by Republican governors in those states, ruling that school districts are allowed to require students to mask up. In Alabama, where counties are mixed on mask mandates, at least 5,500 school-aged children tested positive for COVID during the week ending on August 21st. Cases and deaths are on the rise in that state, with double-digit deaths reported every day for the past three weeks. Alabama state health officer says the situation is dire and people need to take this seriously. We are really in a crisis situation. Um, I, we've said that over and over for several weeks. Um, we need people to understand that you yourself, if you're hearing these words, you're the person who can make a difference. You need to be responsible for your behavior. You need to do what it takes to not continue this situation. Meanwhile, the mystery over what started COVID in the first place remains unsolved. A 90-day investigation by the U.S. intelligence community concluded that the virus could have come from a laboratory leak or jump from animal to human naturally.